Hello everyone and welcome to Luke's Weekend Drive. This week we're at Cannery Cove and we're going to go inside here and talk with our good friend Tilsey. Tilsey's been a sponsor of MTFB Radio and SL Aviation Network for several years now and we do appreciate her support and I wanted to give her a chance to tell us about her amazing work here and uh, we're going to go in and have a little chat and then we're going to take a drive up the mountain so let's go see what Tilsey's got fixed for lunch So, Tilsey, tell us a little bit about Cannery Cove, please. Oh, sure, Luke. Welcome to my kitchen, by the way. This yeah, is, hey. Uh, yeah. Thanks for fixing lunch. Ain't hey, no sweat. Yeah, we keep the breakfast bar hot and ready here 24 hours a day because uh, this is kind of the mess hall for all of the different groups um, represented by these mugs here. Uh, to give you an idea of my overview, and if you know, every mug is full, as is my <laughs> pretty busy and I love it and I'm, I'm happy that, okay. that you came by so Cannery Cove okay, the concept here from the original uh, this is version 6 that we're standing on right now uh, it's been moved around several times but the, the, the concept is that it's like a northern Alaskan shore place um, that was founded back in 1851 during a storm, a shipwreck, and the ship's Shelby that was uh, captained by my great 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 grand pixel uh, valuer and nibble animals. Mm. Um, and anyway, they, they shipwrecked, they spent the night, they decided to stay in front of the bit, and um, they named it Salvation Bay because it saved them from the storm. And that was on the 20th of September, 1851. Um, it became kind of a fishing village, and uh, around 1899, they renamed it Cannery Cove because it had an active cannery, and um, everything was going great until December 2016, storm of the century, which completely destroyed the fishing fleet, disrupted the fishing grounds, and ruined the town, and the town almost went bankrupt, and they switched to logging, and now uh, I have in and I'm taking over and I'm bringing retail here and um, just trying to make a go of it and keep the town alive. But this oh, is the old cool. family uh, haunt that we're standing in, the manor house. And um, yeah, so you want to go out and walk around a little bit? Sure, let's do. Okay. And then here, this is one of your, the sponsors for the drive, uh, the drivers of SL, Madison, Lori Madison Customs. This is yes. Superstore, and uh, oh, she does some great work. Really I does. Huh? Love her, love her stuff. In fact, we're going to use one of her. Uh, she built this uh, '56 Corvette. We're going to use yeah. that today. Road for it. Um, she just did a grid drive. Uh, in fact, I guess this is part two of that video. Yeah. And it ended here. And I sure hope that everybody. I uh, took a chance to go in and at least look around and see what she's doing because uh, her bikes are just fantastic right out of the box. Yeah. Um, this is the main landing area. Uh, we've got the uh, teleport ring. We have the teleport pads and uh, event boards and such. We keep everybody in touch. And then um, my other region, the neighbor region, is just right there. You go up that ramp, get on the ferry, and... You end up over at uh, Door to America, which is a G-rated entry-level region with all of the tutorials and all that good stuff. This is the old uh, fish cannery, which we have repurposed into a nightclub named aptly the cannery, <laughs> for lack of imagination, I guess. Mm. And... Um, It's still in the construction phase. I haven't got a full-time DJ in here yet. But uh, I'm definitely looking. 
and it's pretty sizable. It's multi-level, and um, oh, oh, that's all right. R run I into just you. stopped. So you, I didn't figure you wanted to go and wander around the whole place, but I just wanted to. Yeah. Show you. Nice. I've got Doc Brown up there filling in the DJ for spinning some tunes. <laughs> Hey, he's doing a great job, yeah. isn't he? He does a pretty good job. Yeah. He, yeah. he does. But anyway, this is uh, one of another of the music games. And, uh, there's nothing going on in here but spiders at this point. <laughs> I need to clean out the cobwebs, restock it. But this is this is the old original family home here on the water side on the wharf and the docks and such. Um, they discovered a red clay vein, and that's why we have all this brick. There's brick everywhere. It's not the best surface to drive and ride on, but it, I can't. I can't bring myself to tear it up. Yeah, I am too. All okay, right. great. Fabulous. Okay, wow. So our first stop will be the 150 meter level. This is Central Park, and I, I think you touched on this in your drive video, but... Yeah, I um, just kind of briefly showed it a little bit. Right. And this is, was built by one of our residents, uh, Shannon Tandita. Uh, mm. She went through, just asked permission, and um, she likes the games and such. And so I said, yeah, build it, build a park, put it right here. And boy, she did a great job. That's a great place to walk around in. And redirect is required. So here's the ramp up. Right. One day, does still hear a sound? Someone still around? Did you build this road? No, I did not. In fact, I, I, I'm glad you asked because I need to give a shout out. Um, untamed tracks. I swear by them. Um, all but one of the tracks in my stack are from Untamed. And they build these modular boxes. They build 256 by 256. Or you can also get half and quarter region size. And they do a fantastic job. And you just res out the next one and spin it around and line it up and one feeds the next and right on up. And it's just so beautifully built, so beautiful that I can't say enough about untamed. Yeah, it's it's really a nice road. I I was really impressed with it. You know, it's easy to stay on, you don't don't go flying off and I hate it on these when you uh, fly, <laughs> when you get way up high and then go over the side and drop down five or six hundred meters and have to come back up. So that doesn't happen on this road. Uh, I suppose if you had a really fast motorcycle. And you can't do it. There are invisible cramps on the walls. Yeah. Um, that are about six meters. But you, yeah, you can get over them when you catch up there. You don't have your gravity set right um, or your downforce. Yeah, you can fly off. But the fortunate thing about these uh, is that they are all 256s and they all have a solid base. So oh, you'll yeah. never fall more than 256.
And our next music venue is coming up, and that is the Marketplace, McKay's Market. And um, that is a place that Russell Eppenham likes, and this is where he plays every Saturday at 11. He's here on the, uh, on the market stage. Oh, nice. And it's a, just a nice little venue. Oh, we have our we have a fan of Russell's captain, and he has a waffle at it. So I put in a waffle stand for him. <laughs> and we've, we've got the drinks and coffees and barbecues and some adult uh, beverages. More than somebody left open, so they're going to get more. It's like it's like uh, they like the yeah, they do. Just let them go. The speed limit says. Okay, so we are going to move through a canyon now. Um, this is uh, a little higher elevation. There's still some farmers who brave it out out here. And you'll see some livestock grazing and such. Horse reservoirs, pretty horse reservoirs. You don't have your own horse. And this entire level is a grass. We do have a fire station that services this area because it is rather dry. We do have forest fires sometimes. And this is our country jubilee. The gate I can never get out. There we go. She is the thing is clear. Okay, so we're moving up into the woods now. What's our fire danger? Oh good. We must have gotten some rain. So this is the falls. Uh, one of the music venues. I'll stop for a minute when I came around and get some shots. It's uh, a nice place. And you never know, like right now, what is that? It looks like there's a fox on the beach. Sometimes there's deer on the beach. <laughs> never know what kind of wildlife you get roaming around here. But uh, this is uh, one of Max's favorite venues as well. He likes the waterfalls. Let's see me. This is Three Falls, and uh, also uh, named for, for Dizzy Sternberg, who is that uh, rail builder, uh, excellent. She is a wonderful, wonderful soul. I feel really blessed to have met her. I stumbled on her when I first bought uh, a region. I ended up getting uh, plunked down out in Corsica, right next door to Dizzy.
Now here's the uh, fire ring. It's a fire circle. Campground. Now here we have modernized the camping. Where, yes, you can have a fire and all that, but you also have hookups. So bring your RV. You've got solar power to hookups for your RV. So all of that. Sometimes we get live performers and perform here at the first. So that's just an added benefit. This is the uh, Woodstock Festival Grounds, and it's uh, obviously lots of room for RVs, cars, motorcycles, whatever, and then uh, a great, great uh, stage, dancing. This is where Max played the last week. And then over here is the lodge, and uh, it's got the uh, full service be orderly about it. And then for the people with redirect in your vehicles. Redirect. This is redirect, which takes you up to the next level. Huh. And this amazing uh, area, this is uh, more of the high chaperone, that's the tongue there. And a TP tab. But this is the, uh, the monster. That's the name of this track. And it is a monster. It is like uh, six or seven hundred meters tall. Wow. Bend your fenders here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this story is off the disc, but. You can take my money, steal my car, and sell my clothes. You can take the shoes I'm in. Go on, take everything You can have about everything I own Just leave that old piano Maybe a chair So I can sit down there and play when I'm old Take all these things I know Even take the telephone So here we are at the Mount Midori Ranger Station. This is the top of the world. Well, almost. Actually, you, you can climb. Uh, we do have some brave souls who will, will climb this, this mountain over here to our left. Um, you see them out there with their ice picks and their ropes and their whatever. But for the most part, this, this is it. Well, it's yeah. very uh, yeah. impressive. Uh, Tilsey, I'm really impressed with what you've got here for people to c just come and play. I mean, you're not asking for anything other than they they uh, enjoy themselves here and have fun. Yep. That's great. That's it. Yeah, I just have a couple of rules. Be nice, be helpful, and pick up your toys, and have fun. Yep. <laughs> That's about it. I'm just looking at the map here right now and looking at... You know, uh, Cannery Cove and then uh, Door to America and then Mavericks. Is it possible yeah. to drive from one to the other or not? Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, let me 
and we run it across the bay there. Mm -hmm. They can't. And this is, uh, we are going for the blue dot, the Linden blue dot, uh, gateway region, but we are on uh, newcomer friendly in destinations, and we have all of the uh, tutorials and guides, and we have tutors uh, and mentors who are available, and we've got zombies. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, back to the reality. We've got uh, all of the things that you need if you, when you first arrive in Second Line, uh, just right over here. A uh, big circular path. And uh, and if we can get, become a gateway, great. And if we can't, well, we'll still continue to be G-rated and newcomer friendly on this region. Mm -hmm. And um, because I think we need G-rated spaces where people can feel safe. And I, obviously, we have a great staff of volunteers who uh, are at the beck and call of anyone who needs them, and um, love to serve, love to love to help people. Uh huh. And then right here is the tunnel, which takes us through, uh, takes us underground, and pops us back up right over at. Uh, Mavericks. Huh? Range and the mountainous uh, region. You can look at the canyon ahead of us. How steep that is. And the road up begins here. Nice. Hey, we do thank Tilsey for the awesome tour of Cannery Cove, and we will be back to explore the Mavericks Motorcycle. Club Sim here very soon on another episode of Weekend Drive. And uh, these are great places to hang out and do a lot of driving. So uh, looking forward to coming back. And uh, we do, again, thank Tilsey for the amazing area she has. And uh, go check it out and hang out there. Uh, sounds like a lot of fun. And they have some entertainment. And uh, you can just go maybe and relax and uh, camp out. And we'll see you all next time on Luke's Weekend Drive.